<laughs> it's almost a kitchen again. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Another recipe for another gang. <laughs> All right, baby, carry go. So, yeah. So, guess what I'm cooking with this beautiful recipe that you're seeing? Okay, yeah. I'm cooking all father stew. So, this is my first time actually making this a father stew like this. Basically, just be using just pepper. Yes. The green pepper, then the, what they call it, a little bit of atarodo. Yeah, that's a, the only thing that is a little bit red yeah it's like the atarodo every other every other one is green green then a little bit of garlic ginger a little bit of turmeric introducing another spice into the spice <laughs> yeah so first of all try to steam the little bit that we're using just just me steaming the beef and with this kind of sauce we just use just salt and maggi basically you don't need any other ingredient when you're adding the food or you're cooking the food so first of all just quickly steam the meat with the salt and maggi so that's why the meat is steamy you try prepping your pepper that blending in your pepper so because i want the pepper to be very dry and not too smooth so i use a small blender but it takes some time to just quickly just crush it basically you just want to crush the pepper for it not to be too smooth so this means how i crush the pepper a little bit so for it not to be too smooth for this recipe of father stew <laughs> you can actually call it green stew because everything is green <laughs> yeah i don't know please enjoy the video because eh, this food eh, you have to make sense so. <laughs> all right so just we prep it um, pepper everything blended together so yeah just because when you blended the pepper before i started it i tried to you know when you simply just put a little bit of the pepper in the oven where well, i don't have oven so i just little do air fry you try you can use what you have my grandma will always say when you want to when you are home and you are hungry check what is at home you use what you have to do what you want to to make the food you want to eat you try work with you try work with the things you have at home to prepare what you want yeah so this is me i use what i have to try. <laughs> so so i don't have an oven so i just use air fry so yeah first of all i put the oil the red oil in the pan so let it heat up a bit then pour in a little bit of add a little bit of sunflower oil to it so i didn't mix everything together then while the oil is a little bit hot like bleach we always call it then you pour your onions we cook the onions for a bit then you pour in your what do you call this thing again? Native Maggi. In my tribe, we call it Uberwe. So, Native Maggi. So, you know, growing up, we don't understand why our grandma always used Native Maggi just to cook. And the food will always come out nice. Now, nah, we're getting it. So, pour in the Native Maggi after cooking for a while. Then, pour it here. Blended pepper and onions and turmeric and um, ginger and garlic. So, pour it in a stir and let it for a little bit before adding your basic ingredient because you're just gonna let it cook all through you're not adding no water you're not adding any other thing just the basic thing so first of all you add your crayfish very important to you crayfish ah not good there there's no you cook local food without crayfish crayfish is very important so first of all add your crayfish then basically with this kind of sauce, you can use any kind of ingredients you want to use. So, I am using a little bit of palm oil, that's cow skin, then a little bit of, uh, what do you call this meat again? I think it's lamb, a little bit of lamb meat, so mix it together. Then, let it cook for a while after cooking for like five minutes. Okay, I need to start timing how many minutes this food cooks so that I'll be giving you the timing. So yeah, they pour in your smoked fish and your air fried fish. They cover it full up for let it cook for a while. So after they cook, they stir for a bit. They pour in your seasoning, which is just mangi and onion. Mangi and uh, salt, sorry. Mangi and salt. So just be putting it in the salt and the mangi. Then you stir it for a while. You cover it. Then you leave it. Let it cook oh shit <laughs> like i said this is my first time actually making this 
or father's stew. I'll call it gravy. It's not that green though. Okay, green vegetables too. So yeah, yeah. So I'm my first time actually making it. Ah, so we almost done now because it just keeps staring for a bit, stay for a bit, stay for a bit. So that the food will um, get born at the bottom because you need. So yeah. Yay, all this video work. Welcome back. And hey, as I test my things, balance in ring for my for my brain makes sense. So the last ingredient you need, you need to add is the egg. Yes, add the egg. Colors and stir for a minute. I let it cook for a bit. Then our old father still is ready. The gay gay ah look at it look at look at it very close look at it you see the oil here. if the oil never come up like this you know so your food never done at all so in the bag like this now you know see the food are done you just come boil your rice or your yam or your plantain anything you want to eat time which you just come knock up hey our food already oh thank you for watching i have seen me now why did why I shop the food which i've gonna come use my motor guinness got this step and down and i'll see you on my next video ciao